So, I like to save money by buying in bulk. But most of the time when I buy in bulk, half, three quarters, or whatever, all the stuff goes to waste because we don't get through it in time, whether it's meat or cereal or whatnot. Today we're going to be looking at a vacuum sealer. It's by a company called Calmdo. Makes sense to me. Um, I'm looking forward to vacuum sealing some things to preserve them, to keep them longer. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at this CalmDo Automatic Vacuum Sealer and see if it's any good. So here we have the CalmDo Automatic Vacuum Sealer Machine that can be purchased for around $76 on Amazon. I've already cut this here just to make sure I can get it open pretty easily. All right, so first thing we have is it looks like a roll of maybe vacuum sealer bags. And so I guess this is a cut to fit type of roll. Um, I have what looks like a set of hosing. Most likely that's for external canning or whatnot. All right, let's see what this machine looks like. Oh, don't want to forget the directions. I got a box full of directions, that's good. All right, so let's take a look at this machine. What do we have here? All right, so here we go. Pretty cool. It says open right here, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a little twist, so we just twist it to open. And that's cool. We can see what looks like to be our heating element. This part right here is what's going to suck the air out of the bag. Let's take this plastic off. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's read some directions and then test out this vacuum sealer. So let's talk a little bit about the features here. So first button I have here is actually, set, it says external vac, and that's if I want to vacuum seal dry foods and like mason jars and such. Then I have a manual vac so I can push it and then stop at any time I want to. I have a button right here that seals the bag, so as I cut them off the roll, I have to seal on the one end, and then I can vacuum seal them, so I can vacuum seal dry foods like cereal and nuts and all sorts of things, and also moist food like chicken and steak, etc. And then, of course, I have a stop button. All right, so if we zoom back out here, I showed you this earlier, we just open up like this, and then, of course, we had our vacuum element and our heating element. Pretty simple machine. All right, so let's start sealing some things. And first thing I'm gonna do is seal some steak. So I cut a piece of the plastic off the roll, but you notice it has an opening on both ends and we can't have that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open this up. Move this back a little so we can see. I'm really just gonna set this across the heating element right here. Push it down. And the button right here, you probably can't see it, but tilt it, it says seal right there. So all I'm gonna do is hit that button and let's see what happens. You can see how the lid goes down. And now what it's doing is it's heating right across here. So we're gonna have a perfect seal and then we can put our products in and then vacuum it out. So let's see what happens when it finishes. There, it's all done. Let's open this up. And there I have a perfect seal line. It's, it's really tight. All right, let's get some meat. I will say that I've done this a few times and there is a little bit of a learning curve. So if we set this up here with our bag over top the ceiling part and this part in the vacuum part, we put the top on, click it down, and I'm gonna click the button that says moist, which is right here. It should suck out all the air. There it goes. Sucked it all out around the stake. Now what it's doing is it's sealing that line to make it just like this one. And so that just takes a few minutes, or actually maybe a few seconds. And we're going to compare the stake that I have in the bag, a freezer bag, to the stake I put in the 
vacuum bag. We're going to put them in the freezer for a week and see which one looks better at the end of the week. All right, we're all done. All right, pretty good. Let's go drop these in the freezer. So, let me hear from you. Do you have a vacuum sealer? Do you have a calm do? Anything else? Would you use one of these? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you're resourceful like I am, you can actually make small little pouches out of the rolls. So what I did is I cut it to the length I wanted. I made sure one end was sealed. I cut it down the middle. I sealed off the other end. And then I'm just going to make this a little tiny bag of almonds. All right, so in the vacuum part I go. Let's see, make sure it goes in there. Close my lid. Click the dry button. And watch it go. Just like that, in a matter of time, I have a sealed bag of almonds. It's right now sealing the bag, so I'm going to wait for this to release, and there it goes. Just a few minutes, and I sealed a bag of almonds, and I already did another one with the other piece. Pretty cool. So now we're going to try the um, external vac and just do some dry canning. That's all this really can do. is just really sealing jars on top of already dried food. This is not for preserving or whatnot just so you know that on the side of the calm do here there's a port and we're just going to plug one of these in there just like that now this hose remember came with it and i just changed the attachment head because originally it had this little round one on it and so i just switched it off for the other one that came with it so make sure your hoses are attached I ended up picking up one of these for cans that did not come with it. I think this was actually for another brand, like maybe a food saver, but it does the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, clamp this on, hit here, and then on top, there's a button that says external vac. So let's hit that. Now the machine is still working for heating purposes but it's actually drawing out the air through this tube. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, I just did. Um, this actually just clicked and that's pretty cool. So that means it's probably sealed. Let's check it out. The directions tell us to hit stop when we're done with this process and that releases the machine and let's take this off and see what we got. All right, so remember before, this lid just came right off. So if I picked it up by this lid, it will absolutely not work. Oh, it does. That's cool. I'm picking it up just by this lid. That's cool. All right, let's listen. Let's see if I can pop this open. That was too sweet. It's time for the moment of truth. It's now been one week since we vacuum sealed the steak using the calm do vacuum sealer and here's what it looks like there's still a little bit of air in there um, but for the most part this is vacuum sealed nice and solid it looks almost exactly the same way it did when i put it in here now let's look at our steak that i just put in the freezer bag can you see that steak is not supposed to have snow on it it's already getting frost on there and that's no good in the long term now i am going to cook this and I'm going to give it to my oldest son. He's not going to know the difference. Anyway, this review, we've been looking at the Calm Do. It's a vacuum sealer, a food vacuum sealer. It does have some other attachments where you can use um, for jars and such. And I'd never mentioned this one. If you have any of those kind of like storage bags or boxes, that's really what this does is it sucks the air out of there. Anyway, so what do I think? It's a great vacuum sealer. It does exactly what it says. And I like all the different options that it has. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Comdu vacuum sealer system. Not that long ago, I did a review of something called the hex clad pan. It was like a hybrid pan. It's a pan that I use pretty much every day. And I'm going to link the review video right up here. I would love it if you would go check it out. 
So make sure you're logged into YouTube so you can see this link pop up right here and go ahead and click it. And by the magic of the internet, I'm going to meet you over there. Go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.